The Fantastic Bureau of Imagination. Words by Brad Montague. Pictures by Brad and Christy Montague. Recipient. Potential Special Agent, Human Division. If you have found this book, it is no accident. Our agents have been working to get this into your hands for a very long time now. You are holding official declassified materials from the Fantastic Bureau of Imagination. This story is true. However, portions have been changed to protect the figment or figments involved. More agents of imagination are needed. Your compassion and creativity would be a vital addition to our team. We hope you will read and join us. Should you choose not to join our ranks, we have placed a large bear outside of your home. He is invisible. We assure you that he does not bite, but he does like to ramble on and on and on about incredibly boring things. So it is in your best interest to do the right thing. Warm regards, Agent Wim, Recruitment and Special Projects Division. P.S. Okay, okay, I was kidding about the bear thing. We really just want you as an agent. Please consider. Every song that has been sung, every piece of art that has ever been hung, every dream that's been dreamed, they all began in a special place not so easily seen. The Fantastic Bureau of Imagination. Welcome to the Fantastic Bureau of Imagination. Apologies, but humans are not allowed to see the outside of our secret headquarters. It is highly classified. You'll just have to imagine it. Some young humans have mailed us art to show us what they think our buildings look like. They are always wrong. Most of our agency business is handled by curious little creatures known as figments. Field figment, light figment, elder figment, garden figment, water figment, fire figment, forest figment, music figment, fashion figment, foraging figment, invisible figment, myrrh figment, pigment figment, wish figment, seed figment, and rock figment. Every figment you'll meet here is a special agent and carries a very official Bureau of Imagination badge. This is Sparky. He is the figment responsible for all of our mail here. Every letter, package, idea, or complaint coming in or out of the Fantastic Bureau of Imagination must pass through his office. As you can imagine, he is a very busy little figment. He's also very good at his job, but there is something the agents do not know about him. Sparky loves to write poetry. When not delivering the mail, he writes poems about brave figments throughout history. He wrote about his dear friend Rascal and the dream puppy, and he writes about all the big feelings inside of him. He writes poems about how scary it would be to share his poems. You see, Sparky has never shared his writing with any figment or human, gnome, dragon, or bug, ever. Instead, he throws himself into his very big job. Life is busy for Sparky. He always starts the day by going down the official tubes, whoosh, through the whoosh escalator, over the cave of untold stories, past Brenda, she never gets mail, and makes a delivery after delivery to agents throughout the fantastic Bureau of Imagination. The figments at the Department of Dreams are always excited to see Sparky. His magic mailbag can carry dreams of all sizes. The figments cheer any time he delivers new equipment to the Department of Noticing. These agents listen for wishes as they're made on birthday cakes, dandelions, or stars in the sky. Ideas from all over the world are delivered to the makery. The figments in this office can experiment and create samples of anything that can be imagined. One of Sparky's favorite days was when the agents created a plant that grew popsicles, a flying 1980s station wagon, and a rabbit with a beautiful singing voice. Sparky never leaves the makery without making a pickle sandwich. Busy figments need to eat. Once all the mail is sorted, stacked, and delivered to each of the bureau offices, Sparky sits, enjoys his sandwich, and writes a poem. At least that is what Sparky did every single day at the Fantastic Bureau of Imagination until today. Today, Sparky went down the official tubes, whoosh, through the whoosh escalator, over the exploding cave of untold stories. Wait! Exploding? Sparky froze. He had never spoken to Brenda. Each day he had been secretly relieved that she did not receive mail. He was frightened by her teeth and scales. He imagined that she might eat him, or laugh at his hat, or laugh while eating him and his hat. Though very much afraid, he knew something had to be done. 
surprising Rascal, and even himself, Sparky dove down to help. The cave of untold stories is overflowing, cried Brenda. The entire Bureau of Imagination could collapse. All the stories that have yet to be told in the world, all the songs that have not yet been sung, all the parties yet to be planned, and all the problems yet to be solved, they were all pouring out. If only there were a way to let humans know, said the troubled dragon. Ideas are not meant for having and holding, but for sharing and living and doing. Sparky tried to put some of the cave pieces into his official bureau mailbag. Being a magic bag, it was able to hold more than most bags, but even it was not enough. He looked at all the wonderful things that had been imagined. Beautiful symphonies, performances and plays, marvelous inventions, ideas for brightening days. All these wonders were just hiding away in the cave. As Sparky gazed at the mess, his eyes noticed something familiar. Mixed in the pile of possibilities was a large stack of poems he recognized immediately. Oh no, he said, part of the problem is me. He flew to his office and quickly began to write. Hello, humans. We need you to be bold. There are too many stories that remain untold. There are still so many good things and they haven't been done. Agents of imagination are needed and you can be one. This is your invitation. Tell fear to get out of the way. Beautiful tomorrows can begin today. We must all dare to dream, but must also do. For dreamers are many, but doers are few. Imaginatively yours, Sparky. Official mail figment, Fantastic Bureau of Imagination. This poem did not go into Sparky's stack of hidden notebooks. Sparky asked the figments in the makery to create copies. Every agent became a recruiting agent. Rascal led a team of dream puppies to deliver messages wherever they could. Some humans found invitations under their pillows. Some humans found reminders in nature. Some humans found the message in a picture book. Thanks to a lot of imaginative and hardworking agents and dream puppies, Sparky's words found their way all over the world. Soon, untold stories were finally being shared. Songs were being sung and dances were danced. Problems were being solved and the cave began to calm. Everyone gathered to celebrate three brave agents, a dragon, a dream puppy, and a little male figment. The heroes were each presented with the highest medal of honor an agent can receive. Their work had added more imagination to the world and more agents of imagination too. They all lived happily and imaginatively ever after until... Brenda ate Sparky. Just kidding! We imagined things we could not see. We worked together and made them be. Maybe this is how the whole world mends. Wherever there is fear, let's imagine friends. Night falls at the Fantastic Bureau of Imagination. Apologies if you were hoping to get a glimpse at our building, but it's classified, remember? Plus, it's much too dark to see it now. You'll just have to imagine there is light. And that's what a good agent does. So, get to it. There's plenty of light left to imagine and dreams to make come true. Dream bright, brave agents. Dream and do. Congratulations! You have been chosen to join the ranks of the Fantastic Bureau of Imagination. Step 1. Create a badge using whatever resources you have available. Paper, cardboard, lettuce, whatever! And design your own official Agent of Imagination badge. Wear it with pride. Step 2. Accept your mission. Say the official Fantastic Bureau of Imagination pledge. Some agents choose to find imaginative ways to say it, like standing on their heads or singing it with a full orchestra. You can say it any way you choose. I will imagine. I will help and I will play. Beautiful tomorrows begin with what I do today. Step three, invite your friends. Think of friends and family you can recruit to help add joy to the world. Send them a letter or badge. You can even send them this book. Hey friends, what a great story that was. If you don't want to miss the next story I have up my sleeve, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to this channel. Read it again, Miss Jen. I can't wait to see you next time.